second factor is dopamine. We talked about dopamine before. It's part of the reward system. And dopamine means you're having fun. If you don't have fun while you work, you're not in your peak performance zone. If you're bored out or stressed out and not having joy, you're not at your highest possible performance. So actually having fun at work is a sign of high performance from an individual perspective. Obviously, what somebody who's having fun but is not very good at his job will not be a great asset to your team unless he puts the other people in a good mood and then they perform better. But from individual perspective, people in a good mood perform better compared to their depressed self. Third substance, and that's one we see more and more missing. People lose this capacity more and more. Acetylcholine, that's the substance, the neurotransmitter your brain releases when you're in a situation of focused attention, prolonged focused attention. It means if you're looking at your BlackBerry while you're doing something, you're not performing well. If you're multitasking, it's not possible to get into flow. If Lang Lang gives a concert and then in the middle of the Rhapsody number 17, he checks his email, it will put him out of that flow state. So prolonged focused attention. And if you look at children, they can get totally absorbed in play. They're in flow while they're busy looking at something. They're fully focused. And very often people in, in today's organizations are pushed into work mode that doesn't allow them to access flow anymore because they are ex expected to do many things at once rather than focusing on one task at hand. 